To demonstrate the principle of least privilege versus using shared accounts for access, let's use a little analogy. Let's say we had a house, and three people who need access to that house and the rooms inside, say, Mom, Dad, and little Cindy. We could provision them each unique keys that would give them access based on our policy. So, everyone would have access to the dining room, only Mom would have access to her office, Cindy would have access to her bedroom, and only Dad would have access to the den. Now, because they each used their unique key for access, we could track who got where and monitor who had access to each room. We could track the time they entered and exited and how long they were there, and we could revoke access for one person while still letting the other folks have the access they need. On the other hand, with shared accounts, we don't have unique keys. We have one key, and everyone uses the same one. That means they all have the exact same access to every room in the house, and we can't track who went where, when they entered and left, or what they did while they were there. And if we just change the locks or the key, we don't just revoke access for one person, we lock everybody out. But there is a better way. Realistically, this family needs a combination, just like IT does. They need to leverage unique keys for privilege management everywhere they can, and they need shared account password management to manage those few shared keys as well. Visit Centrify.com to learn how you can do just that.